outside. Deer standing there, yes it is. It's already staring at me. Doe, I think. Either a doe or a little buck. I think it's a doe. Bet she's not alone either. Bet there's another one back there somewhere. Guarantee there's another deer back there. She's coming down the road, coming toward me. Oh, wow. I've heard quite a bit of shooting. That seems to be on the neighbor's place. That'd be very unusual for that deer to be by herself. She's going to win me here any second. I got that wind right behind me. Pushing my scent right at her. She's going to spook. Where's Mr. Buck? There's likely to be a buck or another deer around her. Somewhere. <laughs> There's the other deer. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> they were all sitting down here. I didn't see a buck though. I bet they were bedded down back there, right on the side of that hill. Three deer right there, didn't even see them. Didn't even see them till I got way over. Spotted me. They're wising up too. Going into the woods. <laughs> Fawn and her or a doe and her two yearlings, I'll bet. And gun was dear. <laughs> Trump told Fox News Sunday this month. Once he's in the White House, he's free to do all the deals he wants. I have the right to do it. You know under the law I have the right to do it. I just don't want to do it. But there's another law passed in 2012 that could make it harder for Trump and his family to run their businesses. It's called the Stop Trading on Congressional Knowledge, or Stock Act. The bill's lead author, Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, is in military spending. That may be unseemly, but it's not illegal. But if a president rushes out to buy shares in a defense company after learning that it's about to get a big Pentagon contract... Why, for as long as several months, Barbie added, he always got back with the money. The bondsman rode a pony, Boston County Farmers, until the arrival of the railway in 1872. The event drastically altered things. Barbie reminisced... The coming of the railroad changed the transportation system, doing away with wagons and putting the Teamsters out of business. T for Texas with T. Lindsey Baker is produced by KTRL Radio at Tarleton State University in Stephenville, Texas. More information at tfortexas.org. She's 20 years old and already a veteran performer. When I asked violin soloist Simone Porter if she ever gets nervous on stage, the answer was a resounding no. Go on stage with the knowledge that you can handle everything that comes your way. Simone Porter in concerts on the next Performance Today from the APM. Join us for Performance Today this morning at 9.06. I'm John August with Global Rhythms on the air every Thursday at 2.06 p.m.
If you share my passion for upbeat music, you will enjoy my selections from the beaches of Rio, the clubs of Barcelona, Milan, and Buenos Aires, and from many other cultural hotspots around the world. I look forward to your company at Global Rhythms each Thursday afternoon at 2.06. We are often told to follow the money. A newspaper in West Virginia followed a trail of pills. The top four counties in the United States for prescription opioid drug overdose deaths are all in southern West Virginia. Wrong Eric cow. <laughs> Ayer writes for the Charleston Gazette That's Mail. Not your mama. He's been collecting your data mama's over there. The scale of West Virginia's <laughs> prescription drug. Uh, this looks familiar. It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> the boss left work and he said he was going fishing. I said, well, he shouldn't go fishing without me. So that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm going to get down here before he does. Start my way downstream, catch a dozen fish before he even shows up. <laughs> They're too slow for me, man. They take too long. There's some ducks and a bunch of herons in the swamp. A whole bunch of, bunch of ducks in there, too. Wow. All right, don't pay attention to them ducks. I'm burning daylight. I ain't got all day. The creek's right up here. This is Cedar Creek. It feeds Lake Somerville. On the creek and headed downstream just a little bit. You could go up or down. This is truly creek fishing. There ain't much of this creek. You'll see there ain't much water in it. With the lake close to normal level, there just isn't much water in here. Walking on this big giant tree. Oh, get a peek at the creek. Basically, any spot where it pools up and deep enough is going to hold the fish. Actually, they'll be all over. The small ones will be all over the place. But as you can see, it's clear. Looks beautiful. This first bend. Start fishing right here. Go down just a little ways from here. Wait for my two fishing buddies that are coming this way. Both had delays. One of them just slow. He had to go to the house first. The other one's still at work. I'm going to fish right here to start out with. This is really all you need for the creek fishing. A bunch of crappie jigs. I got my fly pole and my regular gear. I like to use both of them. If you can, if I don't have to go all the way down, I should be able to start catching fish right here. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Very deep. A lot of. Leaves covering the surface. That doesn't bother the fish as much as it bothers me. So you can dead stick right straight there, right straight down. I can see the bottom, so it's not not quite deep enough. Deep enough on the bend. Let's see. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's try it right here. Slip and slide down here and see if I can't get right there. Cast it back up this way. Oh, it's nice when the banks aren't so dad burn slippery. See, that's going to be deep enough to hold some fish. I think I'll start with a fly rod. Oh man, there he was right there. <laughs> Already had one pick it up. Oh yeah, that water's got. It may not look clear, but it is. You can see down two feet or more. All right, let me get to work in this right. That didn't take long. <laughs> First fish on about the second cast. Little black bass, yeah. Took that jig deep. This creek is full of these little black bass and it's full of sunfish. <laughs> Oh, about the fourth drop through there. Nice little sunfish. Still a little roll cast. 
sink, 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 sink. These creeks are just loaded with fish. Very rich fishery. That's what happens after two years in a row of major flooding. There was 20, 20 some odd more feet of water in here. Imagine that water 14 feet above my head. Way up in those trees. And it stayed that way for months. Nope, missed him. toward that more toward the bend or see if there's something closer to this brush boop boom there he was boom there he was picked it up Is the first crappie. Look at that. Nice one. Little, but nice. There's another fish just at the end of my cast. A sunfish. Well, let's put him in the sunlight. There we go. Looks good, doesn't he? That didn't take long. Another little bass. Another little black bass. Boy, this one's colored up real pretty. Clear tea stained water just boy they just get pretty. Called a baby bass. A very baby bass. <laughs> Getting a lot of bumps. Sunfish are hard to hard to hook and they'll bump it a bunch. I thought he might come back and get it. A little better fish. Nice little bass, all colored up. Wow, this is fun. Another bass. Next cast. I sure thought that was bigger than he was. He fought good. Ooh, that's a whopper. Look at that big boy. That's a good fish. Fighting a little different. Now oh, that's another bass. <laughs> Dang, some of them fight real good at first. <laughs> Oh, the bass just keep coming. I can't imagine how many's in there. Now they slowed down a little bit. That's two in the last couple minutes. What do you got? A big monster? Ah, a little sunfish. I don't know how many we've caught, but there's one of them racing stripe crappies. I don't think that's a white crappie. I think that's a black crappie in breeding colors. Finally, a keeper sized crappie or a close. Close to keeper size. Oh my God, look at Ben. Close. Oh, That's close to 10 inches. It is. Yeah. Well, this is. That's right at 10. That's nine. Yeah. The pan's about nine. Look at that, buddy. There you go. Oh, it's a lovely morning. <laughs> it's misty, rainy, foggy, soupy. And I'm back on the creek. Couldn't stay away. Could not stay away. I got my uh, co-worker to cover me so I could do this again with the boss. <laughs> Might have a dual day today. Fish the upper yay wall from the bank and then go on into the park and kayak up into Nails Creek for crappie and bass. Well, let's see if we can find J-Mo. Ah, let's join the soup. This kind of weather keeps a lot of people off the water. But not me. Not ever. Man, this camera can't focus. There's 
just not enough light it has some serious trouble focusing I think I'm gonna go down about oh go to a quarter mile <laughs> you didn't try your favorite spot right here You want to see if he slips in the water first? <laughs> I, I started on my butt and. <laughs> Jamie probably just wanted to watch me swim. Well. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll not record anything that, that goes against your dignity. <laughs> there you go. First fish of the day? Oh, there we go. Little black bass. They are in here. All right, moving down, moving down. Yeah, this, this place is all trailed up, so, you know, we don't always pick the right one. Man, it's hard to believe there's no... <laughs> Actually believe there are fish here they're everywhere the problem is you don't know if they're biting or not if they're feeding if they're not feeding it doesn't matter how many are here that's what we discover all the time jmo just stood right there in a very good looking spot oh, these dead trees are everywhere believe it or not i love these conditions I love it when it's misty and rainy like this. Okay. I'm going to catch me some fish right here. I think Jamie took the oxbow, so he's back down there. So I'm out in front of him. Ah, the first fish. A uh, little black bass. That's a good spot to use a fly rod. I got plenty of room behind me. Look, here come the troops. <laughs> Plenty of room behind me. Yeah.
keeping in contact with my line as best I can. Let it swing through this area at different different rates and different uh, swings, you know, where it's a foot closer, a foot further. Really probe it. It's slow, but if you if you can get it to where you can catch a fish and then replicate the swing each and every time you'll catch a lot more. Come on fish, where are you? That's just a plain old 1 16th ounce crappie jig that's had a slight modification to it to make it function better hopefully also stay together. These little cheap jigs fall apart on you unless you do something like this. Let's get back at it. Well, that was a pretty good spot. Now it's starting to get slippery. So you got to be extra careful. All right, well, let's go down below this next rapids. And I think I can even get to it without too much trouble. Looks like J-Mo fished it a little. I'm going to fish it a lot. Oh, man, this looks great. See how that swirls around? It looks like it might not be deep enough, but I got roll cast. Here goes Robins. And this long stretch. Looks like there might be a little backwater right on that side. All oh, in this area. This should be a good spot. Just can't tell what's raining. Pretty good now. Misty rain. About 60 degrees, maybe 65. This rain's coming up out of the south, so it's rather warm. All right, let's see what's holding the slack water. If anything. There he is, a little bass. A nice little black bass. Alright, well, it's starting to rain pretty good now. I'm going to have to protect the camera. Won't be no filming for a little bit. These boots leak, but you know what? move quickly. Now I can hit this the way I want to with the fly rod. So I'm thinking there might be something hanging right on that ridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> actually, actually I don't want to walk back. <laughs> Oh, crappie. They're getting bigger. Wow. Last time we were here, I was catching them right at, right at your feet. They were all just hovering in that hole. That's those crappie, man. They just barely hit it. Isn't that pretty? Good place to cross right here. It's only about knee deep. When the white bass go to spawning, they'll be all over here. Wow. Well, we're headed out. 
<laughs> really? Oh man. Yeah, we. It's just nothing. I mean, it's not happening, so we figured we'd uh, leave, go get some meat, maybe go walk. In. I bet we can catch any nails. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> Yep. I caught one white bass out of there last time, but JMO caught a bunch. Woo! Nah, it wasn't lost. The creek hooks back around. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of neat, just out in the middle of the woods. Pow, there's green grass. It's getting warm and it's getting humid. Steaming up. I wonder if that's my boss up here in that white Ford. Or the Ranger. <laughs> Could be either. What, this thing? Bust it off. Wind blew it down. All right. Believe it or not, this is good fishing here. Wow, there's a lot of water here. See, and it's right here. There's a lot of brush, but this is this is one of the last deep pools. Then you get into the creek where it's too small. Well, somebody's been fishing down here. up to fishing for you. bleeding around his ear. Cool. It's going to mess up the fishing in this particular spot. Even though with, with a whole family of otters in here, I don't think the fishing's going to be any good. It might be why the water's so messed up. Still need to give it a try. Plenty of minnow activity. Well, there's no reason to go 
any further than this pool coming up. If you don't catch fish in that pool, there ain't fish in here. Or they're not biting, which I think is more the case today. They're not biting. Just kind of hoping as it got closer to 2 to 4 o'clock that you turn on, but so far that's not happened. <laughs> bad situation. I think I just got left behind. <laughs> left on the brush. He got off right there. Um, keep your size cropping. Almost keep your size. Oh yeah, hoist that thing up. Come on. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You taking any home? Taking that one home. Yeah, man.